Hi, which of the countries in Asia offers the best employment opportunities for would-be travelers or experienced experts? If you are planning a trip to Asia and you are wondering which of the countries should you go to, then keep on watching. Welcome back. If you are just tuning in, this is Dango's Diary. And if you've not subscribed to the channel, I urge you to do so. This video focuses on employment opportunities in a set of countries in Asia. Asia. If you are planning a trip to Asia, then this video is for you because I will share with you uh, a detailed information about jobs in these countries in Asia continent. And for the purpose of clarity, I will break down this video into two sections. The first section will focus on those countries that offers employment opportunities in the teaching and uh, hospitality and tourism industries, as well as those countries that offers employment opportunities in every sector. To quickly begin, the first country you may want to travel to for teaching opportunities and jobs in the hospitality industry is Vietnam. The country is quite uh, affordable. This explains why many people are attracted to the country because you may end up working as an English teacher and you may end up holding positions in the tourism industry, especially at hotels and other uh, tourist companies. The next country you may want to go to is uh, Thailand. Thailand has a lot to offer as far as teaching is concerned. In fact, it's one of the uh, most sought after teach abroad destinations in the world. That explains why many people come over and to have a job in teaching is uh, or relatively easy. I use the word relatively, that is to say it's not completely easy, but it's relatively easier if you have the right qualification. And in Thailand, you may end up having jobs in the tourism industry, although non-native English speakers are a bit limited as far as employment is concerned in the tourism industry. But for native speakers or white Europeans, it's quite easier for them to have a job in tourism industries. And another country you may want to consider is Malaysia. Uh, Malaysia is a big employment market in teaching as well as tourism and one growing field in this country is the IT sectors. For those that are computer nerds, it's advisable for you to move to Malaysia, especially if you are European or you are from any of the native English speaking countries, then it's possible for you to land good paying jobs in the IT sectors in uh, Malaysia. And uh, for those that are non-native like Africans, it's okay to move there and you may as well have jobs in teaching or the hospitality um, industry. And of course, the last country in Asia you may want to move to, to work as a teacher or maybe gain employment in the tourism industry is Philippines. Philippines is also quite good and there are teaching opportunities there for teachers as well as opportunities in the tourism industry and you have to understand that it's equally a tropical environment like Thailand and it has a lot of Iceland and a beautiful uh, natural scenery which attracts uh, many travelers. So if you have skills in teaching or any of these uh, tourism and hospitality or industries, then it's possible that you may want to work in Philippines. If you've noticed, most of these countries I've mentioned are in Southeast Asia. That is to say, Southeast Asia provides one of the biggest job markets for those that would love to work as teachers or in the tourism industry. And before I move on to part two of this video, that is other countries in Asia where you can travel to, to have an opportunity to enjoy broad set of employment. I would like to know from your experienced travelers, which other countries around the world, not Asia, would you recommend people to travel to because of employment opportunities? So to quickly continue, there are countries in Asia that you may want to travel to if you are attracted to a huge pool of employment opportunities is uh, China, South Korea and Japan. I have categorized these three countries into one sector, broad employment opportunities because these three countries are the major players as far as uh, the employment industry is concerned in Asia. In fact, they have the largest economy, they have good budget. If you happen to find yourself in China, South Korea or Japan, then I guarantee you that you wouldn't come short of jobs in the teaching industry, the tourism industry, the IT industry, even agriculture. Yeah, there are lots of jobs in these places. It goes right down to many jobs ordinary jobs even for those that are uneducated or those with a formal qualification 
in these three countries, if you have qualification, you can learn a job in the industry, our teaching industry. You can learn a job in the tourism industry. You can equally learn a job in the IT industry. You may end up working in any of the international companies. As well as if you wouldn't want to go for formal jobs, there are lots of opportunities for you to exploit uh, local jobs or cheap uh, liberal employment opportunities. Some people go there, they work uh, in the construction industries as bricklayers, builders. If you are in Japan, others work in shipyards, they load ships and do other stuff. South Korea, construction also pays as well. This country practically gives the opportunity for any person living legally to work without limitation. What matters most is your strength. I hope this information helps you to decide which destination you would like to travel to as far as life is concerned in Asia. And if you enjoyed the video, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and of course, share with your friends because information is power. And as a fellow Africans, I've got to realize that many of you traveling out lack adequate information. Cheers!